In this video, we're going to explore how you can use array push in JavaScript. And this is quite important, especially if you're going to work with Chart.js, where you need to know, for example, how many data points you have in an array, or if you want to add up values at the very end of it. Array push will help you with that. And this is a quite useful way to do it. All right, let's start and explore here. Basically, we have here our basic design which has a button but the button doesn't work yet and as you can see here nothing will come and what we want to do is we want to push the array we want to push a value in here automatically the moment we click on this the array will be expanded with a new value and that will be added in the array so let's start with the basics here so we have here this and let's make here a constant and this constant will be called array push and in here you will have basically the array that we have and the array we just put in here some values uh, comma 30 comma 40 comma 50 all right so we have now our array with five data points and what we want to do is we want to add up another array or we want to do an array push where we add up in this array a new value of 60 at the very end so to do this we can do here for example this is a console console dot log and in here we're going to log in our array so once we have to then save this you will see now if you refresh you can see our array is being shown and we have five data points here so what happens if you want to click on this we want to push a new array value in here so to do this we can put in here and in here we will say the following we say here this will be a uh, add value this is our id and in our id we will be saying this is the const add value equals so we're going to get this id name so it's a document dot get element by id and in here See in quotations because it's a string and then put in the ID name which is add value. Alright. So basically what we want to do is we want to create a function from this. So what we have to do here is create an add event listener. So we say here add value, which is the name here, dot add event listener. And in here we're going to define oh in here we're going to define what is the item we want to. So the moment we click on this button here, I want to activate or trigger a function. Let me say the function will be a new item array. I'll just give it a function name, very simple. So while we have that, well, this is probably quite hard to read. Let's say new array. So we say here, follow, we create here now our function. Function. And our function will be called new array. Let's put it in and in here. Oh, we have to make sure it's a semicolon. And in here, in this function, we will say the following. We will say here now we have console array, console log. We can copy that one. But we can also do here the following. We will say here we have the array push. Here we say um, array push dot push as command. There's the push command, and in here we'll put in 60. So the moment we do that, it will automatically add the 60 or the, the next digit in here as we click. And we have the array console log push, meaning that we will show again the array. We should see now the updated version. So let's save this, refresh. If we click on it, as you can see, now we have six data points. Number six has been added here. But if we keep on clicking on it, you can see here now, as we keep on clicking on it, we have now multiple times 60. This is useful if you want to add up, for example, in a chart, in chart.js, you want to add up new values in here. For example, you have a new data point, you add it up in there. So yeah, and this is just only the basics because chart.js really works with the basics 
of JavaScript and knowing the fundamentals is essential. So if you like these kind of videos, subscribe to my channel.